and things still get sicker in freaking Beelzebub. So it started off with like um, all the freaking Ogre's friends, like all coming out, you know, the rest of um, freaking Aoi's group, like Nene and them, you know, Kanzaki's group as well, even two of them, Tojo's friends. I think I only remember one of them. I think they're called Tora. Um, but all of them arrived as well to take out, and they went against all against like Himikawa's. And I love that um, they actually said, like, because um, there was a little bit with Tojo, because, like, the little pieces of Furry she could talk um, about, and he said, wait a minute, he's number four. I thought it was that. So even as well, they're thinking that, who the hell is number three? So people thought that was a little bit of the problem there. So basically, people would get catching on. I think, I still think it is that Himikawa has rebelled now. I think he's, like, gone to the other side now that he's seen how looking. But, uh, the... I get, uh, we talk quite a bit of the, like, the fight, uh, since, like, um, Ogre's friends are going to fight all the Pompadour guys, um, going to fight all them, um, as well, um, Tojo still got a fight, number, um, one as well, I think he took out number six last week, and Aoi is fighting, I, can, I forget her name, but she's so fucking great, this girl, like, um, I believe she's number three, I believe she's either number three or number two, and she's like her on the uh, stairs, and it just shows that she really has, like, um, a lot of affection for Takamiya. And she's, like, saying, you know, I care for this man. Like, I've completely fallen for him. He'll completely crush you and your dreams. He's the cold madness. And she, like, I was actually having a very hard time with her because of, like, she's got the staff and she's got the, like, um, the advantage and she's got the high ground. Um, and it, I was like, what, fucking, um... What um, Kanzaki said, he said, you guys don't even seem to know about Ogre. He's the last person you would think on uh, in on the earth that would associate with despair. And I'm like, that's interesting because if you think about Ogre has never had anything depressing about it. Like, never. The only thing I think he's ever had to him is when he thought Furichi died. I think that's, like, the only time. that, And if we don't know, he's still got to fight Takamiya. We still got to take him. We still got to get all the pieces together. Uh, to bring back um, Furuichi's heart together. But I really did like the end of it, because, like, um, he's, like, um, Takamiya just started, like, running away, and he's, like, saying, no, let's fight in a better place. And he's, like, yo, there's a different, a major difference between the two of us. He taught, uh, like, um, your, the master taught you to brought out your power. He taught me how to suppress mine. And then he's, like, saying, yo, I'm going to show you my, uh, like, demonic power over the world. And he just made everybody like all like the freaking guys like um of like himikawa's group all of them have the crest over 200 of them F like his friends are not gonna survive that the only way i see how they're gonna survive that is himikawa himself is gonna have to come there and save them i cannot see it anywhere where but it's great that we get a color page next week but Man, Beelzebub, you do be so good. <laughs> like, Beelzebub is being so fucking good right now with this fallen angel. And we have still got more of this to come with the, like, I, I can already say this. Like, hands down, this is Beelzebub's best arc. I will keep saying that. That is, this is official. This is the best arc in Beelzebub now. So now is a good time to be reading this series. So well, that's all for me. Tell me what you thought of the chapter yourself, but... That's all for me, so thank you very much for watching. Remember, Strata Panda, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people.